everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing some more Xenoblade Chronicles. We've done a couple songs from Xenoblade um, already, but today we're going to be doing a song that's been highly requested from Xenoblade uh, from those videos in the comments, and that song is called Gower Plane. Um, so, uh, obviously, I've not listened to this before, so this will be a complete blind reaction to this song. Um, but before we get into the reaction, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. I really appreciate it, particularly if you like the Xenoblade stuff. Please do like this video, which is, um, I'd really appreciate it if we could do that. Um, also, please do, um, as well, this is obviously requested from the comments, and this is, uh, I think, the third Xenoblade song we've done. So if you want more music from um, any game from the Xenoblade series, please uh, let me know in the comments below what that is, and I'll make sure we get around to doing them. Uh, or anything, request anything in the comments below. Uh, but I think we'll get um, straight into this, so I'll probably stop and start. Maybe we'll go back and forward and do uh, a little bit in this first reaction, in this initial reaction. So let's get into it then. Let's not waste any more time and let's react to Gower Plane from Xenoblade Chronicles in 3, 2, 1, go. Wow. That's a pretty abrupt place to stop, but I am going to stop it there because I want to talk about what we uh, have just listened to. So that was beautiful, very much a, a strings-led song, uh, led with the violins. Um, I love how it kind of kind of rippled in with the on the strings, da -da 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 bang, and it just went straight in. It was such a huge sound to start with, um, and the bounciness it had with the, the kind of the acoustic guitars. Um, and the bass is well, very, very kind of a bouncy sort of bass line underneath. Um, that was a really, really cool and really, really grand way to start this song. So let's go back over that past minute and let's go. So that, I kind of like how the, at the start is winding up to for, for to build up to the note. So it's like da 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 and da 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 Again, that's kind of really nice to kind of give it a bit of life and kind of energy to start with. Um, anyway, there's hits as well. Bam, 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 boom, with a guitar underneath doing the same as well. Very, very nice. So again, it's kind of got a very similar sort of sound to the the um, Colony Nine, I think it was that we did before. Where I think the the percussion underneath is kind of like hand percussion, and uh, that's what it sounds like, um, as in hand drums. Uh, and and you got this again, this very acoustic guitar, very clear, bright sound, and you have got this really again the bouncy bass line. But to have that really high up, um, really high notes, really bold bright strings on the top of it really gives it this sort of clarity and um, this kind of like really positive sort of optimism um i kind of feel like i'm guessing i haven't played the game but i'm guessing gal playing is some sort of zone um and maybe this is the zone sound to it but it's really really cool really cool <laughs> Uh, and you can kind of, if you listen, there's um, like kind of like a wind instrument, like, like a flute or something, uh, following the melody line of the of the s strings too. Yeah. 
beautiful. This absolutely stunning melody line from the strings. Um, how it just soars above and it's beautiful. Just the legato notes, how they just flow into each other is lovely. And I love how it kind of built up to that. Dun, dun, boom. Kind of very um, sort of Mediterranean kind of feel to, to the song uh, at that sort of point. Um, but lovely, lovely sounding. Before we carry on back into this this next part, like sort of next chorus part, I do want to go back a little bit because there were some very nice like sort of drum fills again um, throughout that. So let's go back to about here, and I think this should be okay. So let's carry on. Actually, I think it was just about where I wanted to go to. So let's go to here. So obviously, from the chorus, we go we get this um, kind of again the melody gets taken a little bit lower in sort of pitch. But it still gets carried, taken by the strings, and it kind of sets us a bit further down um, to kind of build up again into the the crescendo and the chorus sort of section. Um, still very much string led, and I think it sounds fantastic. <laughs> it's that sort of um, a percussive line, the da 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 and da da. That is very, again, Mediterranean, Latin, that kind of vibe that um classical spanish sort of music the vibe that you get to it it kind of gives it this kind of very f feeling of warmth and um openness um to the music as well um and uh, you kind of see gal playing it kind of feels like maybe you know playing country open spaces um not it doesn't feel like music that would suit like a cityscape it feels like very much a, a wide open area that would suit this um and it's beautiful but we'll carry on we're going to the chorus again so again crush there stop that there um again kind of going back into the sort of the similar section that we had before but i just love how again the, the strings wind up and it kind of feels like it the strings sort of wind up and throw the note up into the air and it kind of really that kind of the brightness and the breadth of the sound is really really nice um and just the high notes uh it really soars over the top and it's 
really, really beautiful sort of sound. Makes it sound so wide, you know, and so massive. But uh, one thing that I do want to mention, which I have sort of mentioned a little bit, uh, and I think it's fair uh, to mention, particularly the way is you may not notice it too much because the, the strings are really at the forefront of this and the violins really are uh, the forefront of this song. But the bass line underneath it is really, really nice and it's really punchy. Um, you can really, really hear it, and it really does add to it, add to the mix. And I like that it's is given, it's kind of in an equal position in the mix. It's not just you can hear the bass. I love it when you can really, really hear the bass because I think it adds a lot to it. It really adds that kind of bounciness to it, that kind of fun to it. Um, and the the tone is really kind of cuts through, and it's as I say, it's that punchy, nice, clean bass tone um that's really really nice and underrated I, I i love i love a good bass line underneath it really adds a lot to to music but we'll carry on now we'll carry on <laughs> it's got a kind of a bit of a jazzy sort of bass line underneath it um yeah, but we'll move on. From kind of in a bit of a bridge section, kind of a bit more sorrowful in the sound, a little bit kind of de um, descending in the notes. It's kind of, I think we're going to build something. <laughs> My God. down which leads me to believe that we'll just go again and again so it probably is his own theme probably is his own theme stop right there my goodness that was one of the most beautiful transitions i've ever heard um on especially particularly on this channel just to kind of build from the strings into that beautiful kind of pull across the harp it sounded like um which is a beautiful sounding instrument a stunning instrument given that just that brightness and that glassy sound that you get from the tone of a harp. Let's go back and listen to that again. That how it just pulled across and it's just perfect little transition. You had a little bit on the cymbal as well to kind of cover it. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful sound. <laughs> Still, the violins are soaring on top. Oh. Kind of the, the, the heart playing on that, just like that arpeggio as well, just kind of sitting there. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Straight into the beat again. That's really, really nice. And that's really cool. That sort of metallic sort of sound on top of it kind of makes it sound more like drum and bassy in that sense. But it's, it's it doesn't sound electronic. I, I like that a lot. Back with the violins. And then kind of starts again. Wow, what a piece of music. Please, 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 please let me know if there's anything more like this because we'll definitely do it on this channel. I, I love that. That was a beautiful song. And to, yes, violins are 
some of the most emotive melodic instruments out there um, possibly is the most um it's just uh, yeah a beautiful sound um particularly when you just get those like flourishes of you know the, the flourish sound to get out of that in the music it's just it's, it's beautiful beautiful let me know what you thought of girl playing in the comment section below did you like it did you not and as i said let me know if there's anything else like this from dinner blade or any other game um in the comments below and we'll get around to doing those definitely um but if you like this video please do like it and subscribe to the channel as well especially if you made it this far really appreciate that uh, and also please do follow me on my other socials which are in the description below uh below the video but having said all of that thank you all so much for watching i look forward to seeing you in the next one thank you very much goodbye